In this lesson, we'll look at Prokofiev's harmonic style. Prokofiev is a good example of a composer whose harmony comes out of the tonal tradition while still finding a way to personalize it. Here we'll look at the first movement of his fourth piano sonata. Let's listen to the beginning of this movement. One of the first things to look at if we want to understand the composer's harmony is their bass lines. A quick look at the first phrase of the sonata shows a typical tonal bass line. In fact, this bass could be harmonized very straightforwardly like this. If we compare Prokofiev's version with this one, we can see that the differences in the harmony have mainly to do with the upper parts. The dominant chord at the start has an appoggiatura F-sharp. Then the 5 of 5 chord over the D has a similar chromatic neighbor note in the middle part. On the second beat of the third bar, the middle voice changes. The F-sharp becomes F natural, and the lower middle voice goes up to G, anticipating the coming dominant harmony. When the dominant does arrive, it's preceded by an F-sharp appoggiatura, and it contains a flat leading tone, B-flat, and an E-flat, rather like an augmented dominant chord, but with the seventh still present. All of these are familiar extensions of tonal harmony, and all of them are approached with normal, smooth voice leading. Now another passage. When we look at this passage, it takes place over a tonic pedal, which disappears, leaving the dominant pedal. All the harmonic surprises here can explain a simple linear harmony resulting from smooth conjunct voice leading in the middle parts. While chords like the A minor chord are not normally part of a piece in C minor, they are approached and left by conjunct voice leading. That A minor chord creates a bit more harmonic contrast than we've had so far, but it's easy to understand in context. The leaps in the first two bars of the last system create their own line, descending from C to G to D, which goes back down to G. Now let's look at another passage. The 
B flat under the first bar here is the dominant of E flat, but we've just heard a melodic presentation of the main theme. But over this, Prokofiev builds a very complex chord, arpeggiating various triads and seventh chords upward. This is more dissonant over that B flat than anything previously heard. After the right hand redescends, the B flat is moved to B natural. From here, the bass goes gradually down to E flat, which then rises, conjunctly for the most part, to G. The upper parts, as is typical with Prokofiev, are often not the chords we expect given the bass line. But the voice leading, including a few octave displacements, is still quite simple. There's a fair amount of chromaticism here which creates more tonal tension. The movement from D to G in this bar is the only substantial leap in the phrase. This is typical of tonal harmony. Often the bass lines within a phrase are more conjunct, and the cadence is defined by leaps in the bass. One more example. Here, if we look at the bass, it's a simple sequence, outlining the notes of a D major dominant 7th chord. But the notes in the right hand don't agree with the bass. They also form a sequence, but they don't stay clearly in any one key. So what Prokofiev does here is to work with standard tonal bass lines, with mainly tertian harmony, but exploring new colors above them. Sometimes these colors remain clearly in one key, and at others they range farther from home. The varying degrees of dissonance with the bass line in different phrases allow the music to breathe. In our next lesson, we'll look at some other kinds of harmonic exploration in Prokofiev's music.